Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. Our last guest today offered top-notch coding classes to San Francisco teens. Please welcome Tyson Doherty and Danielle Leong of Mission Bits. Thanks for coming on the show. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. So tell me about Mission Bits. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, fundamentally, they're, they're the pipeline, the kind of computer programming, education, and professional opportunity pipeline in public school systems is weak or fragile, arguably broken. Um, and so we're trying to help that by offering free computer programming classes for public school students at the high school and middle school level that teaches um, uh, the kids kind of the fundamentals of computer programming, um, teaches a modern technology, the process of learning to learn what they need to know when they need to know it, and then also connecting them to professionals within the in, uh, professional engineers in the industry like Danielle and um, the types of opportunities they can pursue leveraging their, the skills that we're kind of uh, equipping them with um, that are also aligned with their passions. So the connection to the industry is super important. Why are public school students, why are they not getting that access that maybe other private school students are? Uh, I mean, that's a that's a difficult question. I mean, fun. I don't know why these classes aren't being offered in in San Francisco Unified. I mean, I know especially when you have Silicon Valley in the yeah, backyard. Yeah, I mean, that, that's and, that's yeah. that's what's really that's really mm -hmm. interesting. I mean, the, it, it, I mean, if we were in a, another city and fundamentally the economic the economy was not based on uh, kind of this fun, the, this skill set, uh, it might be understandable. Okay. But um, the fact that only three of the public high schools had um, computer science or have computer science programs offered of the 17 in San Francisco is 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 not good enough. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not it's doing troubling, good enough. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, Danielle, this is pretty amazing because you are a web developer web developer by day, mm -hmm. and then you go on and you teach these kids mm -hmm. about what you know. Yes, exactly. Um, it's definitely a way to give back because uh, you know web developers do so much, but there's a lot of things that we could do more, mm -hmm. and helping the next generation learn the skills that they need in order to move on and to encourage students who may drop out because they're scared or because they don't have the resources, that's a shame. And so being able to give back is something that really um, is enjoyable for me. And it seems it's best that you are teaching the kids while you're in the industry because the industry is ever changing, right? It just mm -hmm. changes so rapidly. Definitely. Um, uh, a lot of textbooks sometimes are out of date by the time sure. they actually get to publication. A lot of computers too, A right? lot of computers <laughs> as well. So being able to answer questions and say, this is what the industry is like now, this is what you can expect maybe in a few years, uh, it helps give a lot more uh, real-time feedback to the students. Well, we do have a clip of some of these classes. Great. My schedule is insanely busy, 8 to 100 hour a week, but you always need a little break to get away from the work and clear your mind. And why not use that time to really give back to the community and really give other people the opportunity to be where you are today? 90% of students in the fall class had never written a line of code before enrolling. By semester's end, they created an HTML5 game, an interactive light show, a browser-based drawing tool, and an instant message app. And where only 12% of computer science degrees are earned by women, Mission Bit's gender composition was 43% female. Because I'm a senior, I wanted to explore my options, so I wanted to take this computer science class, and I thought it would be a good opportunity for me. I feel like I'm now able to like write a website, like code a website now. And that's one thing you're trying to do is make it more diverse too, get mm -hmm. more diverse people. Definitely, um, a lot of different, a lot of really big companies like Google and Facebook just released their statistics sure. of women in technology, and, and they're not a lot. They're not that great, mm -hmm. but. These programs like this, especially because middle school and high school girls tend to drop out at this age, if they're encouraged to keep going and if they see people like them in the industry, they're more likely to continue on. How can students get involved? How can they start taking classes? I mean, uh, they bas basically just need to sign up with us on, uh, you know, in the fall, um, and it's pretty simple. I mean, we're, uh, unfortunately, we're oversubscribed, so the student sure. demand actually exceeds our ability to support. Um, but we do give priority placement to underrepresented minorities and, and females um, to create a, di a diverse uh, classroom setting. And we were talking about HTML. I mean, it really is learning another language, right? Yeah. Several languages. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And is that difficult for the kids to process when they first start, or once they get it, they got it? Uh, it it's actually, uh, I mean, they're pretty, they're pretty, they pick it up pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's obviously varying paces of, of um, kind of learning, and by having, you know, fi a five to one mentor to student ratio, we're able to kind of, uh, um, kind of 
teach people at the pace that they are comfortable with, um, or teach the students at the pace that they're comfortable with. But they're pretty, I mean, they pick it up incre they're incredibly smart. quick. Yeah. They're real smart. Kids are smart. Uh -huh. I mean, I have a six-year-old who knows how to work technology more than I do. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even know how to, you know, do certain things on the iPad, and she can do it. So. Should enroll her in the class. I yeah. should yeah. enroll her in the class. You're <laughs> absolutely right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us more about it. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us. All having right. Us. And for more information on Mission Bits classes, log on to Mission Bit. Com. Again, that's missionbit.com. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. And remember, the segments will be archived on Facebook. Have a great day.